the most popular PC gaming pickup and play cloud gaming platform has its benefits. Since its official launch out of beta in February 2020, GeForce Now has picked up a lot of steam and its popularity is exploding. They recently expanded their services, adding servers in Phoenix, Arizona and in Canada. They are also adding their services to the countries of Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Australia. With all this expansion, it would be a good idea to test the response time of GeForce Now and how well the input lag will affect gameplay. Before we get into all that, let's first see where our server will be located. I am located in Ohio and GeForce Now has auto-selected me to the US Midwest data center which is located in Chicago. That's about 5 hours west from here by car. This makes my latency around 24 milliseconds which is very nice. What we're going to do is test both controller lag and mouse and keyboard lag, but I will start with the controller lag first. We are testing controller lag on Destiny 2 just to see how bad it really is. To get a feel for what the lag is over video, I have to give you a visual on the moment I move my controller versus the response time on GeForce Now. So I have the gamepad tester up in the corner from gamepadtester.com while I play the opening mission to Destiny 2 Forsaken. Let's check out some key game footage. As you can see, I have no problem aiming. Precision aiming is right on the money. I also have no problem dodging enemy fire. Now after a while of playing, I stopped at a checkpoint and changed to mouse and keyboard. I wanted to see whether mouse and keyboard input lag would be similar. So I switched up my setup and continued the mission. I'm sure you can see that mouse and keyboard performs just fine for me. Heck, it might even be faster than controller. The mouse precision is fantastic. Quick and exact, exactly the way I like it. Now lastly, I tested the mouse and keyboard lag out on another game, Path of Exile, just to switch up the game types. This game relies heavily on mouse input to move and fight, so accurate input is necessary for adequate gameplay. It's safe to say I had absolutely no issues playing Path of Exile on GeForce Now with mouse and keyboard. My character goes exactly where I pointed to and attacks on command. So if you're looking for a great PC alternative to play a shooter or any other type of game, GeForce Now won't give you the lag like some other cloud gaming services do. This pretty much sums up input lag on GeForce Now. If you live in the US, you should have little to no issues with input lag. Plus, their service is only getting better over time. So if you're having issues with lag now, hopefully things will get much better for you soon. I hope this answers any of your curiosity regarding controller lag or any other input lag on GeForce Now. For the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming, like and subscribe. Stay tuned right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.